Hello everyone, I hope you're okay. I've got a story here for you and I hope that you found somewhere nice and quiet, somewhere calm to snuggle down. And if you've got brothers and sisters, you might want to snuggle with them and listen to this story. It's called A Long Way From Home. And I can see there's a rabbit here lost in a snowstorm. Down at the bottom, it tells me that Elizabeth Bagley has written the story and Jane Chapman has done the illustrations as well. The blurb on the back, it says, at bedtime in the burrow, Moz is squished and squashed by sleepy rabbits. Crumpled and cross, he asks to go with his friend Albatross to the icy lands of the North Star. So off they fly, but when Moz gets lost, he finds himself cold and lonely and a long way from home. Have a little think. How might he feel if he's lost and alone and a long way from home? How would that make you feel? Here we go. At bedtime in the burrow, Moz was squished and squashed by sleepy rabbits. Oh no, he tutted. Crumplings, move over, Tam. Tam squeezed over and then folded her arms round Moz, using him as a hot water bottle. Too hot, muttered Moz. Too many rabbits. So out into the night he went. What are you doing out here? Smallest bun, asked Albatross, swooping down. There's no room, snuffled Moz, and Tam is always squashing me. But she's your favourite sister. It doesn't stop her squashing me, said Moz. So, to cheer him up, Albatross told Moz about the land of the North Star, where there was sky space and snow space. <sighs> no rabbits there, sighed Moz. I wish I could come with you to the land of the frozen North. Hop on then, smallest bun, Albatross said. Moz squeaked as Albatross lifted into the air. Under the moon and over the wind she flew. As she soared high, high, higher, Moz held out his paws like wings. I'm flying! Hold tight, it's the North Star, Albatross shouted. And can you see, look, here it is. From the North Star, came a wild tornado of snow, and before Moz could take hold of Albatross, he had toppled into the storm. Swept on the wind, he tumbled and rolled down and down and down to land, poof, in a snowdrift. Moz was all alone, and for a moment, he was afraid. Then he looked around at the empty white space and shook himself with excitement. No squish, he cried, no squash. Moz danced solo in the snow. He skated and skimmed and threw snowballs, but then whoosh, he was slipping down an ice slide going faster and faster. Moz skidded to a stop. Oh no. There were rabbits everywhere. As he opened his mouth to protest, the other rabbits did too. But the only sound was Moz's tiny squeak. Mirror rabbits, he gasped. These weren't real rabbits, just reflections in the ice. Moz was in an ice cave, an ice hall, an ice palace. It was as big as space and as quiet as silence. And there was no one there but him. In the mirror walls, Moz saw himself like a king, his fluff grand with ice crystals. <laughs> Moz made a cool, roomy snow nest. No nest sharings, he pronounced and lay royally down to sleep. When Moz woke, 
His fluff was frozen and he was cold to the bone, shivering in his lonely bed. He thought about his snuggly sister Tam, squeezed into the nest with all the cosy night snufflings of his family. Even his tears froze. How he longed to go home. So, out of the palace he crawled, slipping and slithering up the ice slide until he came out under the open sky where the stony moon shone. Albatross, shouted Moss, where are you? There was no answer, only the empty creaking of the ice. But there, a feathery whisper on the wind, Moss looked up and saw wide wings. It was Albatross. Smallest bun, she said, relieved. Oh, I've been looking for you everywhere. She swung Moz onto her back and gratefully he nestled into a warm down, thinking only of home. Back in the nest, Tam rolled over. Moz was wonderfully squished and squashed. He was gorgeously crumpled and crammed. He was Tam's hot water bottle. He snuggled into her fluff and with a sigh, he fell to sleep. So, a very, very nice story there. Poor Moz, though, felt a little bit lost and lonely, but it was a happy ending in the end. Right, I hope you enjoy all of the stories that we're all reading for you. All right, I'm sure there's plenty more for you to look at as well. See you all again very soon. Take care. Bye.